Hi guys, this is Steve Darcy with Go Engineer, and today we're going to be building a deck. So my sister called and said, hey, uh, we started a project a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we need a little bit of help. So we got online, started modeling this thing up in SolidWorks. And if you've ever done a deck, if you've ever done weld mints, if you ever use SolidWorks, this video is for you. So to get started, uh, start out taking some pictures with stuff. Uh, go in, start taking some dimensions. Uh, start taking pictures of how things are put together because the devil's in the de details. And uh, some things to look at is, you know, do you have enough room to put a bolt in? Or what size bolt are you going to put in this thing? And also kind of on the outside of this, if you can see my mouse moving there. Uh, if I put a bolt on the outside, then it may be a little bit difficult to mount something flush up against there. So we have to take a look at, you know, the overall on how stuff is done uh, to make sure that we engineer something and design something properly. So again, take a lot of pictures, look at where the joints are, where what size lumber you can, you can have. Um, all that stuff goes into effect for a, a very good design. So here's some dimensions I just took on a uh, sheet of paper. So just kind of scratch pad it. Also take uh, some dimensions on some of the existing lumber that's out there. So a four by four is actually three and a half by three and a half. So pay attention to that uh, when you're creating your weldments. So here's the uh, the steps design on that. Everything came out pretty good. So uh, went ahead and started modeling this thing up. This is what it's going to look like when we're done. But I thought I'd take you through the design process to uh, to help you better understand how to start something like this and uh, go about it in SolidWorks. So first, you got to start out with what's existing. So I'm using dis uh, display states in SolidWorks. You can just quickly right click, say add display state. And I am working with just a single part file. I went ahead and did this as a weldment. So everything is just in this one existing part. Made it, made it pretty simple to, uh, to go about and do. I kept everything as separate little bodies. Uh, so that way I can turn them on and off uh, in the display states for my, my different drawings. Okay. Also, she had a, uh, a little uh, opening and a gate over here. So I wanted to go ahead and model that up to, to make sure that we had a good design. So let's get started. The next thing she had is uh, the existing footings in the beams. So I went ahead and modeled those up with my, uh, my dimensions. And uh, that came out looking pretty good. And the real tricky thing is one of the beams that we're going to do or, or the, uh, uh, the decking is we're going to put the decking sh flat on the concrete here and then come across here. So we had needed to make sure that the height of this was exactly equal to the height of that. So you have to get out your levels and make sure that everything is in there correctly. And also some of these beams are the, uh, the 4x4s. I went ahead and left them long until I was ready to cut them. So uh, that's kind of a little sneaky thing for just carpentry itself is uh, go ahead and let the stuff be long until you, you really need to cut it down. So after that, we started with the main beams. And I'm going to kind of pause right here because there's a, a little bit of design work that you have to do when, when you're doing some of these. So the first thing is, how did I start making the little 4x4s and 2x8s, 2x10s and all that stuff? Well, I did use weld mitts, so I started out with just a regular sketch. And then in my, my beams, or my, uh, my weld mitts, so I'm going to go ahead and edit this feature. I went ahead and made a, a folder in my uh, profiles at, called Wood Configurations. And then I put a, a, a part file in there with some configured dimensions. And then I have a little drop down where I could pick a 2x4, 2x6, 2x8, and 2x12. And that was good enough for, for the dimensional lumber that I was going to use on it. And then, of course, you select on the individual lines, and it's going to extrude it out there. There is a uh, Weldments 101, which is a pretty good uh, video I did years and years ago. Uh, and it will take you through some of, these, uh, some of these things. Now, if you go to your settings, and let's go into file locations, hit the little drop down, we'll scroll down to Weldments profiles. Then this is where my Weldment profiles are. And if I open that up, Then I have a, uh, I went ahead and created two, one dimensional lumber and one for decking lumber. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this guy up. And you'll see what I did. Now, if I could do this all again, and I tell people the first time you model something, it's the wrong way. 
Um, I probably shouldn't have put the little fillets on there. They really kind of did not come in handy when I was trying to select on faces and edges and stuff. So if I were to do it again, I would probably not put the little teeny tiny fillets in there. But again, I uh, just made some configurable tables. So 2x12, 2x4, 2x6. So I'm just changing the dimensional uh, length on those things. And then I can use them for the dimensional lumber. So that's pretty much how I built this thing out to create all the, uh, the weldment files here. All right, so let's get back to, uh, the other thing that I needed to do was the main beams on here. Uh, you can kind of see right here, if I click on that, it's 96 and a quarter. So it's right over eight feet, right around that. And if we take a look at our span tables, so if I just go into Google and type in span tables, I like this one from Southern, Southern Pine. It's pretty easy to get to. Uh, we'll go ahead and view the joists and rafter tables. And depending on how much load you're going to put on this will depend on how long of the beam that you can actually place on there. And of course, I could have used, it's the SOLIDWORKS, could have used FEA analysis, but I just wanted to check with this and make sure that it was it was in the right thing. So I'm going to start off with this the easy one. And you'll see that I'm going to do 2x10s. Uh, this is actually 2x10. Uh, and 2x10s are actually 9.5 inches. Uh, but I am doing 16-inch sitters. So uh, number 2, which is typically what you're going to buy at Home Depot. Uh, I can go almost up to, I can do over 15 feet, 8 inches. So that's that's a pretty long sp span right there. Uh, but this is only 30 PSF. So I'm going to go, I'm an engineer. I'm going to go to the big one. And also this is going to be out in the rain. So I'm going to do the wet service at 100. And you'll see that at 16 inch centers, I can now only do a span of 9 feet 5 inches. So 9 feet is considerably different than 15 feet, uh, but my span is, is less or right about 8 feet. So I should be quite well within this rating. Should be able to jump up and down on it multiple times or put you know a good, good 100 people on it. So always over engineer, right? All right, so now I got my main beams in there. Everything's looking pretty good. I've checked my span tables. Everything looks all right. Uh, now I got to just put all the rest of the joists in. So to do that, I simply just modeled up one, put some of the lumber in there, and then just did a linear pattern, 16-inch uh, centers, and put them all out there. Of course, while you're doing this, you're going to have to do some trimming and extending. Uh, then let's take a look at some of the other little parts. I've got my main flooring in here. Now I have to create this little bridge. Now the bridge, I decided to make it to where uh, we could build it on its own. And I have that crazy little bolt down there at the bottom. So I went ahead and made this top part that I'm gonna uh, screw it into uh, just a two by four. So that way I have a little gap down here at the bottom. So the, uh, the bolt going into that four by four, I'm not gonna hit it. And the other thing that I did is I went ahead and put a 2x4 on the outside of this. That gives me a little bit more uh, uh, wood to where I can screw my decking onto. And the decking is not going to go uh, kind of left and right as it, it toggles across there. I'll kind of show this later in a uh, in one of the, um, the pictures. So the cool thing is I can get a couple guys and make them model this guy out. And same thing. I have a little triangular piece that I have to model up and I can make sure that somebody starts modeling that guy. Now, I went ahead and did this a little bit weird, made some of the cuts. We do have a miter saw, so it makes it a little bit more fun to do some of these, these weird odd cuts uh, and to screw them all together. I like using screws. Uh, but as after you put all these things together, then you can put the bridge in. You can see hopefully I'm going to miss that little screw down there. That's why I put the little 2 by 4 on. And these are just going to sit on the concrete right there. So I did end up having to put some shims underneath one of the sides of this thing to make sure that it uh, it it uh, what came up flush across the top of the concrete there. So once I got that piece in, then I just needed the uh, triangular part, and I had plenty of material to just screw into material. So that worked out pretty good. Cut this little. Uh, four by four a little bit later and then uh, now once we have this on now we're ready to do some of the decking so the decking uh, you can kind of see 
we're putting these on here. Now the only tricky thing also is uh, I needed, wanted to make sure that before we put the decking on here, uh, we went ahead and painted or, or put the stain on both sides of this thing. Because it's on a flat piece of concrete right up here, uh, it's, it may actually be sitting in some water. So I want to make sure that that thing is totally sealed up before we, uh, before we put those uh, put them on completely. So everything looks like it's coming out pretty good. Uh, now we need some steps. So the step layout that we did. There we go. Looks pretty cool. We decided to spend some time on these because this is kind of the first thing that your eye is going to go to. And we need to make sure that they're very solid so we can climb up them pretty well. So if we take a look at the steps, you can see they're, they're kind of built out. The only tricky thing is I, I needed some uh, length on one side of this uh, to support the, the piece of wood. And then I also needed a little bit to actually support the step above it. So you can kind of see I've kind of split this halfway. So now when I put my second step on there, then it, it should fit appropriately. So I've kind of made this thing to where I can have all the steps with all the joists. And you can see how that fits halfway on top of there. So I have some really good support, not only for the wood that you're going to be stepping on, but for the next uh, set of step that goes up above it. And so I built, you know, quite a few of those things. And once we get these all put together, then we can actually see the deck with the steps. So we'll kind of go back to uh, some of the pictures real quick. And you can kind of see we, we're starting to put some of the, uh, the other pieces in, the beams. And once we get the beams in, then we put all the joists. You can see I've, I've got the length of the height of all these things until I'm completely done. I'll come back in and measure after we get the uh, the decking on. Uh, same thing on the decking. We, we went ahead and let it overlap onto the side. Uh, we have some protrusions out here for the, uh, the conduit and stuff and some of the wiring. So uh, back across the back of this thing, I went ahead and extended it, you know, pretty close to the house, but just to where, you know, stuff's not going to fall down through there. Uh, and then once we're done with all this, this is all going to be hanging out and we'll just come in and cut it with a, a circular saw all the way down. So it's looking pretty good. Got all our pins, all of the screws are in there. I'm starting to put some of the decking on. And then here you can see we've uh, put this guy all the way up against the edge. Uh, we can do some little cross screws right here. So we got double amount of uh, uh, lumber on the bottom to go ahead and go into, especially right here. I don't want to make sure that teeter totters or anything. Uh, we do have some crazy little cuts. This guy is only in here temporarily, uh, just uh, till we till we get everything kind of done and and get some of the other pieces in there. We actually had to stain another piece, but uh, it came out looking pretty good. Uh, the little triangular part worked really well. Gives you a lot of extra decking and allows it to, when you come out of the house, you got a lot more uh, just deck to, to hang out on. So, of course, get the steps in, uh, put some sand down, made sure that it was pretty flat and level before we put the little bricks down. Put this on top of them. Uh, it is all treated lumber, but I uh, just didn't want the bugs and stuff kind of getting up on there. And then, of course, once you're done, get your cooler, get your little chair, and you're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this. Hope it helps you uh, create some decks and other wood stuff because weld mitts aren't just for steel. So hope you enjoyed it. Have a good time and keep modeling. Thanks.